Good morning friends! How are we all doing today? It is Wednesday. Wednesday, I've just dropped the girls at school, raced home to get ready and Kaizy and I have a big day out today because we have all the things to get done today. Come here my little love muffin. Come and say hi to everybody. Show them how cute you look today. Oh, you're the handsomest. Do you like my new top, Kaizy? What do you think? Do you like it? So I just changed my clothes and then I changed it back myself again. Huh? So I just changed my clothes and changed myself again. You want to get changed? Change. But you're dressed. Look how cute you look. I need to get you a matching little flannel. This is my first flannel purchase for the season. I was very excited about this one. I really wanted a nice kind of bluey one and cotton on came through with the goods. It's quite oversized. It's a small, but it's quite big. Let me just show you a little outfit of the day. Okay, you guys, here is my outfit. So see how it's really, really big? Like even when it's done up, it's quite big. But I do like the oversized kind of trend but I just don't know how to wear this one whether I do it up and then do a little tuck in or tie it and do a little thingy or just wear it loose and hang like this which I think is what I'm gonna do today so I've just chucked it on with some black leggings a black singlet is there um, a black singlet and my little ankle booties just nice and comfy and casual because we got to get all the housework done today. We've got errands to do. <sighs> the mice saga continues. I am so frustrated to say. If you guys didn't know, we have been dealing with ants and mice. We got the ants under control last month. We had two weeks grace and then we got mice and I think possibly rats because the kids and I caught two mice while Tones was away and we were really excited about it and we caught them and released them in a nearby paddock and we thought and then, yeah they ran away we gave them some cheese too but they didn't eat the cheese they just ran we were like but wait the cheese we got your cheese but they went and just scampered off <laughs> Yeah, and then they come back and eat your cheese. And they came back and they ate our walls. That's what they did. Let me show you what we've woken up to this morning. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that. Whoops. Wrong light. This light. I showed some video footage of down here what they did. There. Can you guys see that? Now, this morning I came in and there's wood shavings everywhere because. They've done this to this part. Look at that. Crazy. All the way along. Look. Because we have this door closed partially. They've gone all the and way along the door. And down here too. And down here. And down there too. Yep. And then over here, there's all wood shavings. <laughs> I just am at my wit's end now. They've torn up carpet. They ate through a door stopper. It's just quite unbelievable. It literally just, I'm lost for words. I didn't know they could be this destructive because I've never had a mouse problem before. We've had maybe like one mouse in the house, which we caught and took out and that was it. But this is like, they've relocated and this is their home now, so we're, we're living with the mice. But I'm waiting on the exterminator guy or pest control man, whatever you call them. He is coming Hello. tomorrow and it's the same guy that did our ants. So that was quite successful. He came twice to get rid of the ants because there were nests around this property. But now the mice situation, I'm hoping he will nip it in the bud really quickly. But it's really hard because there's construction going on. So I think it's interrupting all the field mice and they're relocating Mom. to our house. <laughs> Yay! And yes, baby. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're gonna go 
out and get a few things done and we'll grab some lunch. Yes? I want to have some cookies. Some cookies! Yeah. It's too early for cookies. I know you do, buddy. Please. Maybe we can have some on the way to the shops. Yes? That's what I'm trying to talk about. That's what you're trying to talk about? Yeah. Okay, well, you need to get your sockies back on and your shoes. Can you do that for me? I'll help you on. I'll help you put them on. So anyway, the other day I went to go and rearrange the pillows on my bed and one jumped out from behind my pillows. I was screaming like a crazy person because I'm not afraid of mice. Like I had pet mice when I was little, but it just took me by surprise and scared the living daylights out of me. And oh, we've just got to get it sorted out. If you've had these issues before, let us know your tips and tricks because, yeah, I don't know what to do. And let me know how you wear a flannel top as well. Thank you, Mom. Ah! What is that sticking into my head? <laughs> is that a lightsaber? Ah! It's behind you. It is a lightsaber. <laughs> All right, so the first stop of the day has to be the nail saloon to get these claws fixed. Look at how grown out and chipped and gross they are. Sicko. So I'm going to go and get their um, shellac nail polishes, but I'm going to go and get them removed and just some normal polish put on because I tried to pick these off. As you can tell, I didn't have much luck. They are so hard to get off. Um, so I'm going to go and get them removed and normal nails put on. And I want to start doing um, fake nails. What are they called? Like press on nails. I picked up some nice ones from Kmart, which I've got to film a Kmart haul in the next few days, hopefully. On the weekend, maybe, actually. Because I'll be working tomorrow and the next day. So, yeah, I want to film... Oh, I'm going to film a Kmart haul, but these nails are going to be part of it and I want to start wearing them and just see how they wear. Um, and I feel like they may be Hi, a bit Mom. better for your nails. Look. Hi, buddy. Hi. Ah, not again. Yeah. It's after me. <laughs> so, yes, that is the first step of the day. Get the dirty nails <laughs> removed. It's a rainy old day today. Are you ready to run, Kaizy? Where? <laughs> to the shop so we don't get wet. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Neither am I. Okay, so there's a bit of a wait on the nails. So we thought we would come to our other favorite place in the shopping center, which is of course Priceline because it's the Priceline sale on right now. I think it's like up to 40% off or some things are half price. I don't know, but we're going to go check it out and see if I can grab some of my lip liners that I always get and some concealer.
Hey you guys, I am shellac free. Look at those naked little babies. <laughs> so <laughs> naked. I feel so weird without having nails. Not that I ever usually get nails. I only got them since Christmas. And then I really liked having them on. Um, but... Mom, can me for minutes? Oh, sorry. You right? Is your foot stuck? Yeah. Good. Um, we're just at school pickup now. It's a couple of hours later. Mm. So, hang on baby, maybe don't press that. That's alright. Um, I spoke to my dad earlier and had some sad news from him that my nan's cat had sadly... My nan's cat had sadly passed away during the night, which is such a shame because she really loves this cat and um, she took it in. Thank you, baby. Um, my nan and pa always took in the stray kinds of animals and they always seemed to find their way to their yeah. house. I think they just knew they were good people. Um, and she took this specific mm, cat, Honey, so in. Blessed been about 15 years ago longer and honey was pregnant at the time and she was old then so you can imagine how old she's now we don't know how old she was but she was a very old looking cat you can see in my videos I did one recently and she was in it um, and she hadn't been feeling well lately and anyhow Nan said she was up until about midnight with her last night and then she went to bed and when she woke up she'd sadly passed so dad went up there this morning and then when I spoke to my mum we thought we might all catch up for lunch and try and cheer her up a bit so we went and met Nanny Poodle didn't we? Yep. Yep. And had some lunch with her. I obviously didn't vlog because... Whoa! Are you okay? <laughs> oh gosh. It just didn't seem appropriate and she was in good spirits. She was good but I think it'll sort of hit her hard tonight when she's home and sort of doesn't have the cat there and you know you get into a routine with your animals of feeding them and taking them out and doing all that sort of thing and then when that stops it's a bit of a shock so I really hope she'll be all right so please pray for her guys that um, she can cope well with this because it's really hard losing an animal especially one that you know you've had for a long time it doesn't even matter how long you've had it it's devastating regardless right so um yeah we hope nanny will be okay don't we yeah because honey i haven't really explained it to him yet i don't even think he knows kaisy mm -hmm. look at mummy you know honey mm -hmm. who's honey um here's nanny's cat yeah well nanny's cat honey was sick and honey went to heaven mm-hmm so who's Honey with now? Mm. In heaven. Who lives in heaven? The mm. guinea mm. pigs. Yeah, the guinea pigs are in heaven too. With who? Ari. And Ari. <laughs> We're going to go through all the animals that we've lost. You tell everyone. Who is it? Uh, it is guinea pigs. Uh, no, but who's our father in heaven that we all go to be with? Uh, Jesus. Yeah. So now Honey's not sick anymore. And she's laughing. Okay, this conversation's going nowhere. But she's happy and she's in a better place, isn't she? Yeah. She's not sick. So um, I grabbed a few things at Priceline. So I figured I could show you now while we wait for the girls because they've got their sale on right now so they've got really good sales on so here's what I got kind of my holy grails I've got my receipt here to let you know how much they came to um, I got my favorite lashes which are the Adele Wispies They're really pretty, pretty. <laughs> they're really pretty, really pretty. <laughs> they're what I've got on today, but mine, this is like probably the eighth time I've reused these ones, so they're looking a little worse for wear. Much nicer when they're fresh little babies like this. 
So those ones, I don't know that they actually had anything off them. They were $10.99. I don't think they were on sale. I also got a new Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. And this is in the shade 110 Fair. So I like to use that under my eyes and sort of down my nose and on my chin just to brighten up the area a little bit. And that one came to $9.97. So that's pretty good. Then I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation. And I grabbed the shade 220 Natural Beige. I don't know that I've actually tried the Fit Me before. So I'll be interested to see how that goes on my oily skin. And that one came to $10.97. Mm. And then, of course, you guys know me. I had to get my oh, yeah. Rimmel East End Snob lip liners. I love these ones so much. It's the colour I've got on today. Um, Plus, I have... I do. I've got my MAC um, lipstick on top. But let me just show you what it looks like on one that I already have open. Here's one I prepared earlier. They're a retractable <laughs> lip liner. And they're super creamy and just a really beautiful lip liner. They just go on so easily. They glide over your lips. And they're very long wearing too. They're great. Um, and that was it. So the total came to $57.91. Which is pretty good for all that. I think that's a pretty good price. Alright. Oh, poopy. I forgot to give Measy back her book. I am... Um, borrowed this book from my mum. It's called The 316 Promise. He loves, he gave, we believe, we live by Max Lucado. Oh, we're on our way. Um, it's just a little Christian book. It's very, very short read. But, you know, just in these uncertain times, it's always good to be able to feel, you know, the presence of God and know that you're loved. I, I wasn't saying God in a bad way, buddy. We teach you not to say God, unless you're talking about God, if that makes sense. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it was a really good read. That's it there. If you guys want to check it out, or if you want to know more, you can let me know. I'm not trying to push my religious beliefs onto anyone, but of course, I'm always here for you guys, if you ever wanted to talk or know anything but yes I'm gonna keep going because we got to pick up this girl Ella's actually not coming home with us today she's going home with a friend for a little play date so we're just grabbing Indy it's gonna be so weird to see Ella and not be taking her home but she's very excited to be going around to her friend's house for a little play date today so that'll be fun and guess what we get to do now Kaizy yeah. We get to go home and do laundry. Yeah. Are you excited? And do the bath too. Kaizy's got to have a bath. We've got to vacuum, get all the things done. It's going to be good times, baby. Thank you. Okay, we home. And man, can I tell you, it feels good to be home. Except for the fact that we have to do so much cleaning right now. But before we jump into it, I want to show you my latest piece of jewellery from the Julia Jewellery Collection that I'm so excited. And I can't wait to show you this ring. You may have already seen me wearing it. But it's this stunning piece right here. Hang on, let me set you guys down so I can show you properly. Okay, makeshift tripod, here we go. I've literally got you balancing on three different things. Okay, so you guys know that I work with Julia Jewelry on a regular basis. I love their jewelry, the quality, everything's so amazing, the customer service, everything's just on point. And this is the latest piece in their collection that I've picked out to have made, and it's this Stunning 
rose gold ring. This one's the Coffee Halo Emerald Cut Ring and it's got a really beautiful rose gold setting. It's just gorgeous. I'm not too sure if it's going to pick it up really well on camera but I'll insert some clips of it anyhow. I thought it was stunning on their website but it's even better in person and it has the little diamonds that run all the way around the band and then they've got the larger emerald cut stone in the top and then it has all the little stones going around the sides as well. It's so beautiful and sparkly. The color is just absolutely stunning. I wear it on my middle finger, on my right hand, and I just love it. I think it looks fine with my white gold rings. They're on a completely different hand, so I don't, it doesn't even bother me anyway. But I just love it. I think it's such a beautiful color, and it's just different. So it's really unique and just pretty and you, it's just such a wearable piece that would just go with everything really. So that's why I love it so much. I was really unsure about sizing because you've got to measure yourself and send in your measurements and they send it back. And I can't believe I got it right. Like it's so <laughs> not normal for me, but um, it fits like a glove. It's just beautiful. So I'm absolutely wrapped with this piece. I also have a discount code for you guys to receive 15% off your order, which is simply Jess GA15, all in capitals. So that's a really great discount code. And I honestly love all of their jewelry. I can't recommend them highly enough. Um, so yeah, I'm super impressed with this piece right here. I'll go ahead and I will link the ring and all the discount code information, the website, Instagram, everything down below for you guys. So you can go check them out. They've got lots of stunning pieces. Um, this is just one of them and my current favorite. Okay, who's ready to do some laundry? I haven't done laundry in days and I really need to do it like every other day to keep on top of it. So check it out for yourselves. Look at that big mound there overflowing. <laughs> Uh, fun times ahead for me. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold. Kaizy just came out to me and was like, Mum, I was calling you. I went to the toilet and I poo stuck in my bottom because every time he does number twos, he goes, Mum or Dad, I have poo stuck in my bottom. <laughs> so we have to go and clean it up for him. And I didn't hear him. So he literally just not wiped, hopped off the toilet, pulled up his pants, and now he's all dirty. So... I'm going to go and give him a bath now instead of later when I was initially going to do it after dinner. But I'm going to go do it now and get him in his jammies and then it'll be close to time to pick up Allah. So I might finish up this video here so I can edit it and upload it tonight. If not, it'll go up tomorrow. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a little different 
than what I set out for it to be. It was going to be more of a cleaning kind of day in the life video. But we were basically out all day, so that didn't happen. But there will be more cleaning videos to come in the near future. And remember my nan. Please pray for her that she's okay and that she gets a good sleep tonight too and that she wakes up tomorrow feeling okay and not too down. And don't forget to check out the Julia Jewelry website and use my code JessGA15, all in capitals, if you see anything that you like. And if you do, be sure to let me know what you grab so I can check it out as well. I love you guys so very much and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.